the next thing we're going to want to be able to do though is make this look more like what a, a normal map looks like uh, and typically contour lines have um, one of the lines bolded or larger um, in certain increments so say every 10 meters uh, and the next thing is of course having the elevation on them so first things first let's bold this line up so if we come to width at the moment it's hard set Let's change this here into uh, width, and then we can actually use a formula. Um, so I'm just going to paste this in an old sheet. Um, but if brackets elevation, E L E V, bracket percentage ten equals zero. So what that's saying is if I can divide the number by ten. I'm going to make it 0.8, so I'm going to make it 0.8 thickness. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to make it 0.3, so much thinner if it's not divisible by 10. And it's as easy as that. I'll put those formulas in the description so you can cheat. You can also do a neat one where you um, have a middle one. So for every 10, it's very bold. Every 5, it's a little bold and so on. Um, and I'll, again, I'll put both formulas in. It's very neat, very easy. Here's the difference. Now we can see here very clearly this extra line is bolded out. What would be cool though is let's get an elevation. So click on labels and I'm going to do a single label and I'm going to set that to elevation. Now if we look really closely we can see the numbers written in here but it's pretty difficult to read. Thankfully very very easy to fix. I come here and I click on draw text buffer and here we go, all the numbers are super readable. Now you can change these numbers, you can have them appearing every other number, you can have them on the line, you can have less of them, more of them, you can change the angle and orientation, um, all of these things can be changed, but because um, this is a really brief fly through, I'll just stop with that for now.